In AutoCAD Pan ID, the Line Group tool allows you to create an association between different pipe runs or segments. The main purpose of the group is to have all pipes use the same tag value from the group. No two line groups can have the same tag, which helps eliminate errors. In order to create a line group, you need to have at least one schematic line created in a project drawing. You can add or remove lines from a group throughout the project. To make a group, from the Ribbon, Home tab, Line Group panel, select the Make Group tool. Pick the primary line from pump P101 to tank TK100. Once the line is selected, you'll be prompted to select additional lines to add to the group. Select the pipelines from pumps P100 and P102. Once these items are selected, instead of pressing Enter to complete the command, press L first and then press Enter. This activates the line number option. You'll have two options. You can type the line number or press Enter to select the next available number. Type 100 to set this as the line number for this group. Press Enter to add the number and then press Enter again to complete the command. To make changes to the group from the Ribbon, Home tab, Line Group panel, select the Edit Group tool. Select the group you just created. The command line displays these options. Add lets you add lines to the group. Remove takes a line from the group. Ungroup disassociates the lines and deletes the group. Line Number lets you change the number of the group and Service lets you type the name of the service. Press S and then press Enter. For the service name, type in NPW. Press Enter to complete the command. The Select Group tool located on the same panel allows you to pick a line segment and see the line group association. The information about the group is now included in the project database. As you edit the pipe service and the line number is changed, the same data will be applied to all other lines in the group. Next, use the Undo tool to back up the changes you made. Do this by selecting the drop-down arrow next to the Undo icon, and then selecting the original group command. Use the Make Group tool to define a new group from pump P101 to TK100. Use the Line Number option to set the line number to 100. Press Enter to complete the command. Here's another tool to help you group lines together. From the command line, type in SL Regroup. Select one of the lines that is not assigned to the group. Press Enter when prompted to select another line. The Select Line Group dialog appears. This lists all of the line groups in the current project. You can use this tool to associate unassigned lines to a group, or to move assigned lines from one group to another. Select 100 as the line number, and then click OK. Once a line is assigned to a group, it cannot be ungrouped without deleting the line and redrawing it but it can be changed to a different group if needed. The Group tool helps you maintain correct line numbering and service values, so take the time to learn how this feature works.